What is the full pack? Today we're going to be talking about the future of Fortnite and the future of my content and time on Fortnite. So, this is an interesting topic because I recently just returned to Fortnite specifically for the Eclipse season. So a lot of you may be asking, where is the where has the Fortnite content gone? Well, the easy answer is there is none. And I don't know if there's gonna be any Fortnite content for a while. Um, I mainly just do like season reviews and like my first my first impressions on the seasons and stuff. I never like actually do Fortnite content because personally to me I don't know how people can make like full length videos like live streaming I can understand but like full length videos just like I don't know how I don't know how anybody could do that but I mean to each their own I guess so anyway main question is where's Fortnite content going to be going uh, right now, Fortnite content is at a standstill. Because I don't really know what I'm going to do. Do I want to do, like, a couple of Fortnite videos a week? I could do that. But would I be doing it for me? Because I do play Fortnite on my own. I do, do, I do play Fortnite off-camera a ton. Mainly to do challenges and get stuff. And, like, get the skins and stuff. But am I doing it for my... Would I be doing the content for my benefit? Is it something that I would want to do? Um, I have to think about that on my own. Not recording a video. But I could definitely see myself looking into doing Fortnite content more. Um, not more than Minecraft content. Because Minecraft content is, like... You can do a lot with Minecraft, but yeah. Second, will I be doing a a review of Chapter 5? The thing about Chapter 5 is that the rumors that people are saying are, like, absolutely insane. I don't think Chapter 5 is going to be just... Um, Placing a map. Like, I don't see Fortnite... I don't see Epic Games just, like, using the, the template that they have of the previous Fortnite maps. Like, Epic Games wouldn't do that. That would just be, that would just be dumb. And that's, that's what people want, but eventually you're going to realize that yeah, we don't want this. So I believe that they're going to have elements of of each map. So like they're going to have elements of old maps into the into the new maps. Now, would that work storyline-wise? I could see that working storyline-wise. The zero point I don't know. I don't know how it would work because we didn't get anything for a zero point. And into Postbox Pat's um, point, this this season, um, so far this chapter has done nothing for the storyline. It's just creating new storylines. So it's like, what's the point of ending it at at season at season four? In my opinion. This should be the longest running chapter because because we got nothing with the zero point, nothing with Kevin, nothing with anything from previous seasons. It's just like the zero point pulled a bunch of realities together, and that's how this map was made. And now the zero points like underneath us, but it's like we got no hints to where the where the zero point is. We got riffs, but that's it. Literally riffs. Which we've been getting throughout every single chapter, so it's not even special. 
in my personal opinion, I think for, I think Epic Games shouldn't have revealed what the next season's gonna be about. Now, that might be a controversial take, but in my opinion, people have been asking for, for, for a, like, OG season for the longest time. Wouldn't you want to save the hype? Like, that's the thing, that's the thing about, about Epic Games, is that they used to have obscure hints to what the season is, but now they just tell you point blank what the next season is going to be about. And it's like they don't do anything subtly anymore. And it's kind of sad because I used to love theorizing about, about, hey, what's this season going to be about, you know? I think they played their cards too well. Now, do I think that Chapter 5 will be better than C than Chapter 4? Because I put Chapter 4 at such a high... Such a high ranking. You know, I said that this was the best chapter other than, like, Chapter 2. I said that this was the best chapter. And although... I, I said that mainly because they had pretty good weapons. They had really good skins. I didn't complain about one Battle Pass skin. So, did I honestly mean what I said when I said that Chapter 4 is probably my favorite chapter? Yes, I meant every word about that. But do I think Chapter 5 will be as good? I'm going to have to say no. Unfortunately, no, I don't think it's going to be as good. Unless they somehow, like, they somehow exceed expectations. But right now, from what I've been hearing, they're literally just going to, they're just going to recycle the OG Fortnite map. And then, like, that that's it. But I don't think they do that, because it's like, First off, we have all these new mechanics, and you're gonna tell, you're gonna tell, and you're gonna sit here and tell me that they're gonna take away those mechanics? Hell no. They're gonna do something special if they're returning us to the OG map. There's gonna be like, there's gonna be more mountains and stuff. Like, it's probably going to be an evolved version of the OG map. Honestly, that's what I think. And I don't know if that's just an optimistic take, but to be honest, I don't really care. <laughs> like, I, I care about Fortnite, alright? But I'm going to play the game regardless, because one, it's a time killer. And two, I spent so much money on this game that it's like, if I just stopped playing it, that would make, that would mean all that money went to waste. Um, so yeah. Will I re be reviewing Chapter 5? That's the question of probably a lot of you have been asking, even though nobody really watches my videos. Yes, I will be reviewing Chapter 5 each season. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed it's ending so soon, Chapter 4, because it feels like this, this was so disconnected. It felt like if this was the start of Fortnite, people would wouldn't notice or like if you I don't know this just this this chapter feels so disconnected from from the other chapters that like it almost feels like a different game now I also want to talk about the the Donald Mustard leaving I was a little bit scared at first because I really like the storyline. I mainly play Fortnite because I want to see how the story evolves. And the man who literally created the storyline is leaving. So I'm remaining optimistic about that. I really am. And the reason I'm remaining optimistic is because if you lose, if you lose hope for something being good then you're setting yourself up for failure. Like, I don't know, man. I just, I just, 
um, decide to stay optimistic about the future, maybe it's possible that this is what we needed. I mean, so far the storyline has gone way downhill. So it's like, maybe a fresh new writer is what we need. And I'm not saying Donald Mustard did bad. I'm not saying that at all. He did amazing. I mean, he literally made my f my favorite chapter. Probably my favorite map in, in gaming history. So, honestly, he did really good. This is a farewell to Donald Mustard. Um... And I think, honestly, all this outrage about, like, oh, Fortnite's storyline is going to go downhill, I don't believe that. I, I believe that Epic Games has a lot of love and care for, for this community and this, and for the game in general. And the fact that people are complaining and saying that, oh, it's gonna, it's going downhill. Listen, I understand. Change is scary. But, but you gotta give the new writers a chance. This is the problem with a lot of stuff nowadays, is that we never give the new guy a chance. We're, we're always hellbent on nostalgia and like, everything has to be the same. But have you ever thought about, you know, Donald Mustard has been doing this game for, for however many years. And, and you do understand that the same person that made the OG Fortnite is also the, is also the person who created the Fortnite you hate. So it's like, what if? This is what we needed. A new writer. Again, not saying that Donald Mustard it was... Not saying Donald Mustard was an awful... Was an awful writer. Because... God damn, he did really good. But... Like, everybody complains about... About the recent seasons. When this was Donald Mustard's writing. So it's like, give the new guy a chance. I'm giving the new guy a chance, and if he doesn't enthrall me with the first chapter, or even the first couple seasons, then I might side with you guys a little bit, but even then I give him a chance. Because everybody has their ups and downs, realistically. But anyway, that's just what I wanted to talk about. Um, I will be reviewing... I'll probably be reviewing every single chapter slash season um, from now on. Like, I've been tr I was trying to do that before. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys later.